Welcome to episode 2 of Project 613. Today we begin the Rambam's 14 principles, guiding principles that he uses to define what is a mitzvah and what should be included in the list. Principle number 1, the Rambam does not count rabbinic commandments, for example, Hanukkah candles or reading the Megillah. Now, while this might seem obvious, for the Talmud says that the 613 mitzvot were given to Moses at Sinai, and rabbinic mitzvot were not instituted until later dates, the truth is, we do follow rabbinic rulings because of a biblical mandate. The Torah tells us, you shall not divert from the word they tell you, either right or left. And as such, before performing a rabbinic mitzvah, we do make a blessing. Nevertheless, the individual rabbinic precepts are not counted as part of the 613 and are considered rabbinic, a classification that has certain halakhic implications. Principle number two, do not include laws which derive from one of the 13 principles of Torah exegesis. Every word and every letter in the Torah is exact, and the sages extrapolated many laws from an extra or missing word or letter, or a particular sequence which the Torah chooses to use. Nevertheless, unless the sages explicitly say that a particular law that they derive is categorized as biblical, it is not counted as part of the 613. An example of this is the obligation to accord honor to parents-in-law, a precept derived from the extra word et in a verse. Though the Torah alludes to the concept, it is not considered a biblical command. And finally, principle number three, do not count mitzvot which are not binding in all generations. The laws, for example, regarding the disassembly of the tabernacle or the prohibition against waging war on the nations of Ammon and Moab. These are clearly mitzvot that were only for a specific time in a specific circumstance, only applying to the Israelites in the desert.